All this week we've been celebrating Scott's 20 years, 20 years at Channel 3. 20 years, can you believe it? Well, earlier this month I had a chance to sit down with Scott. We reminisced a little bit, and now that he's back in the studio, out of his turkey costume, we want to take a look back at 20 years of Scott <laughs> helping Connecticut to wake up with a smile. I started it when I was 34, and now I'm 54. I mean, when you look at 34 and you think 54, I'm not going to be in the same job. Who's, who's in the same job in television for 20 years? And it's remarkable because I thought I was going to get fired in year one. It has been two decades on WFSB, and no one is more surprised that Scott Haney is still here than Scott Haney himself. I have no self-confidence in the fact that I'm going to be there the next day. Every day I look at it and go, this could be the last day. And it's been like that for 20 I, I don't know, maybe that's what keeps me, on my, keeps me on my toes. The kid from Comac, Long Island, grew up with his parents and two older brothers in a modest home where his mom still lives. This is the spoon she used to beat me with. He was a regular viewer of the Mary Tyler Moore Show and always dreamed of being on TV. They had the best time. Lou was the most amazing boss. Mary was terrific. Ted Knight was fantastic. And I'm thinking, one day I'm going to work in a newsroom. But getting there was a challenge. Scott worked everywhere from his beloved Pathmark to Brooks Brothers, but never gave up on his dream of being on TV. He started small. Scott? Ron, four weeks ago, Mother Nature was wreaking havoc all across Kansas. But once he made it to Channel 3, he was immediately the wacky weatherman we've grown to know and love. Hey, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, this groundhog, he's ferocious, and my, what big teeth he has, too. And that made the bosses very nervous, but people August, just kept watching and watching. Why does it work? I think the majority of people wake up in the morning and go, mm. If they tune into Channel 3, they're going to get a they're going to get a chuckle and they're going to get a smile. And I think they're going to get people get put into a good mood. And that's not just me. It's the team that I work with. You can only play tennis if the partner is hitting the ball back to you. Aww. And we got a lot that's more really coming up. Sweet. We got more coming up at 6:30 including uh, some big moments, including the moment that uh, landed us and uh, Nicole uh, lucky for you wasn't yes. here at this point. We, we all you landed. just died just when we were on uh, newspaper headlines <laughs> yes. around the world yeah, around for the something world. you ate on television. This morning yes. team made it around we the world. It, we made really it on the Daily Mail. I'm very in appreciative London. of the team that I work with. Yes. Behind the scenes, everybody behind the scenes and in front of the camera. But it's a yeah. remarkable accomplishment. But 20 years yeah, 20 and years. everything that you've done It's been fun. It's been fun. I hope, and I hope the next 20 years are as much fun. <laughs> well, you'll be. <laughs> yeah, I'll, hopefully. <laughs> Tune in. That's coming up at 6.30. We have one more big surprise for Scott yes. uh, that he doesn't know about, and it's coming up after this break, so we'll be back right after that. It doesn't involve a pilgrim outfit. <laughs>